Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. A Reddit user who asked a simple question uh, during the recent Q&A session with NASA got his account suspended, banned, for simply asking the question, what is NASA's stance on revealing the truth about alien life? So, uh, this story was just posted by Joe Martino on the website CollectiveEvolution.com. You're seeing that here, and it's titled, Reddit permanently deleted our account when we asked NASA about alien life during AMA. And this is totally shocking, and if this isn't evidence that NASA is trying to hide the truth from us, then I don't know what else is. So, I'll go ahead and, um read you what the article states here. It says, on February 22nd, which was yesterday, NASA held the press conference to reveal that they had found seven exoplanets around a star, and that some of these planets could be habitable. Following this announcement, NASA held an AMA on Reddit for the public to ask questions. When we heard about this announcement, we were excited about the opportunity to not only hear what NASA was going to share, but also about the chance to ask an important question during the AMA. We felt our question, at the very least, would tell us what the public was thinking about the subject, and hopefully, perhaps get a response back from NASA. Now, before we continue, I just want to read you guys the exact question that Collective Evolution asked during the Q&A. They asked, When is NASA going to reveal what is known about ET life? Former Defense Minister of Canada, Paul Hellyer, has said that there are at least four known alien species communicating with humans. He is certainly not the only high-ranking whistleblower on this topic. When is NASA going to address this? Thanks. So, that's a very respectable, clear-cut question. There's nothing crazy about that. And you can clearly see in the screenshot here that people were upvoting this question saying what a great idea it was, what a great question it was, and I agree. And then you see up here uh, where their account had been permanently suspended directly after asking this question. So the article goes on to state, Now you might be thinking, well of course they didn't answer, this has nothing to do with exoplanets. To which I say, it has everything to do with it. And I agree with that, it does. Here we are talking about potentially habitable planets that could already contain life or could end up being planets we move to if ours is destroyed. The obvious question on everyone's mind is what about alien life there? Uh, and I agree with this as well. Uh, you know, the media from CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, every major news outlet was talking about this discovery, this announcement. And the big question on everybody's mind wasn't so much that they had just found seven planets, it was about the potential for alien life being found on those planets. Key word here being alien life. That is the biggest question that has come from everyone I've spoken to after this announcement. Certainly was my question, and so that's simply what the people over at Collective Evolution asked. Perfectly rational question. So then the article states, the community got involved, and it says, quote, We asked people in our private community to get involved in the AMA and support the question if they felt they wanted an answer to it as well. Over the course of a half an hour, the upvote count on our question reached about 20. This was an up and down swing between people upvoting and downvoting. 45 minutes later, a series of negative comments began to come through calling out our question as silly and not serious. According to other Reddit users, NASA was here to answer serious questions only and not conspiracy theories. 
We thought that this was odd, as we had not only asked a very valid question, but also backed it up with credible information and links, including that of the testimony of Paul Hellyer, who, by the way, if you guys don't know, is the former defense minister of Canada who came out and dropped a bombshell on the public in his discussions and knowledge over the alien presence. Completely shocked the world. Defense Minister of Canada. A highly respected gentleman. And of course, this is something that the public should know. And of course, everyone on Reddit thought it was a great answer. And it was strange that all of these sudden negative comments started flooding their question, downvoting it. So then the article states that, all of this being said, during this NASA Q&A, it only made sense to ask the question that we did. And it wasn't just asked by us. Many other comments surfaced where people asked about NASA's knowledge of alien life. Obviously, humanity is highly engaged in this topic and would love to know more. And, you know, I can personally attest to that. I mean, we have almost 800,000 people subscribed to this channel alone, averaging 20 million unique views per month. People want to know about aliens. They're not stupid. And so what was the response that Collective Evolution received from NASA? Well, nothing. They didn't get a response at all. But to add insult to injury, Reddit suspended their account permanently simply for asking a goddamn question. I mean, this has really got me heated. This is ridiculous. I mean, you have NASA, a supposedly transparent organization who's here for the public, here to answer our questions, just broke an amazing story about how they found these planets that could potentially be holding alien life. And then you ban somebody? for then asking a question about said alien life? I mean, this is first-hand smoking gun proof that there has been and continues to be a campaign to silence anybody who attempts to come in and ask the real questions that deserve to be answered. And I can't understand what would make the moderator of this AMA look at a question like this, elegant, simple, kind, collected, question and say, you know what, that's a conspiracy theory. I'm not only going to delete it or leave it unanswered, but I'm going to ban the account indefinitely. Who does that? And so it was obvious that NASA and whoever these moderators were, they wanted to keep the questions watered down and simple, giving us the same old tired answers about the same old tired questions. And now it's exploded in NASA's face. And Reddit's too, because I hold them responsible as well. And we're going to get this video out there, and it's going to get hundreds of thousands of views, along with this article, which, by the way, I want you to go over there and visit it, and you can read the entire thing. Show Collective Evolution some love. And let's get the message out there that we are now being censored. And it's the same type of censorship that has been going on in the mainstream media for years. Now we have all of this stuff called fake news. If you have a dissenting opinion, something that does not agree with the mainstream media's narrative or agenda, you are labeled fake news. The same thing has been happening to me lately, where there have been some people out there who have been attacking my channel, calling me names, calling me a liar, calling me a hoaxer. Uh, calling me a CIA shill, every name in the book to try to discredit me, discredit this channel, and to really discredit ufology in general. Because when you sling mud at someone, oftentimes it's very hard to clean off. And we know for a fact that the government operates highly organized disinformation campaigns through YouTube, through social media, through online news media, and any other outlet they can to discredit, attack, and finally sway public opinion to support their agendas. And what we're seeing here with this question being banned is this censorship in its clearest form. And I ask you guys, was this question not relevant to NASA's announcement today? Is anything that Collective Evolution stated in the question false, misleading, or linked to a conspiracy theory? And so when you have NASA talking about potential alien life, well then that's the truth. But if you have someone else bringing up alien life, then it's a conspiracy theory. 
coming from a bunch of tinfoil hat crazies who should really be putting their time to better use. Right, right, I, I guess I should be watching the Kardashians while pretending that a question on Reddit about aliens didn't just get someone's account banned. I mean, this is ridiculous. I don't even have words to describe how upset this makes me, how blatantly obvious this censorship was. They didn't even try to hide it. They just banned his account. And so, here's what I want you guys to do. First, I want you to go over to Collective Evolution, share their article, tweet it, Facebook it, show them some love. Then I want you to share this video. Let's get it out there. And let's get more people to this channel and open some more eyes to this blatant cover-up and to the mountain of evidence that we indeed are not alone, where in which we are in a reality where we have had distinguished military members like the former Canadian minister come out and publicly state on the record that yes, the people of the world have the right to know what's going on because they are a part of it. And I'm quoting the former defense minister here where he said, quote, an investigation was launched into this subject and a document was prepared which concluded that at least four species of aliens have been visiting Earth for thousands of years. And I will put the link to this video where you can watch and listen to what else the defense minister had to say. I'll post it down below, so be sure to check that out as well. So, again, let me know what you guys think. This is a shame and an outrage and I really don't know what else to say about it other than NASA, we're coming for you. We are going to reveal the truth with or without you. And you can ban accounts all you want. It's not gonna stop this train. All right, so thank you guys for stopping by today. Let's get this video out there and I'll see you all back in just a bit.